Let's bring in physicist Dr. Michio Kaku. It's good to have you back with us mm -hmm. for this. And we just heard in Ryan's report right. and the nuclear waste being just behind some fabric barriers. What, are the, what is the, the most dangerous right here? What's the most concern? Well, the good news is that we no longer store our atomic bombs at Los Alamos like we used to, especially after World War II. However, the danger is that there are 20 to 30,000 barrels, 55-gallon drums, containing plutonium-contaminated waste. Everything from gloves to helmets to nuclear materials from the reactors. The danger is that a fire could split them open, release plutonium into the air. Plutonium is the most toxic chemical known to science. A microgram you can't even see in your lungs will cause lung cancer. And to fight this, the danger is that the firefighters must be in to battle this and the special training and equipment that they need? That's the weak spot because in 2009, the Department of Energy said that the local fire department, they may not be trained to handle the very specialized nuclear materials and equipment stored on site. That made a lot of people uneasy, realizing that our first line of defense, the firemen, may be overwhelmed when they enter a weapons laboratory. And Dr. Kaku, the, the floodwaters in Nebraska and the nuclear plants that are there. It's been very much in the news, a lot of concern. What's the biggest danger there? That accident in Nebraska is like Fukushima in slow motion. At Fukushima, the tipping point was hit almost immediately by the tsunami, which overwhelmed the pumps and safety systems. Here, we have time. But the floodwaters are rising. If they rise a few feet more, we could see pumps begin to fail. At that point, in a worst-case scenario, in a worst-case scenario, we could drop cooling water, and then it's like Fukushima 2.0. But the Fort Calhoun nuclear station that's been shut down since April, so April. Does, doesn't that help? It helps, but it takes 36 hours for water to boil off once the pumps fail. At that point, water levels begin to drop. Now, again, we don't expect that to happen, but if it were to happen, it would be Fukushima all over again. And speaking of Fukushima all over again, a lot of people are wondering, what's the latest there? What's going on there? We haven't really been hearing much. The thing is not yet stable. Next year, they hope to finally get the pumps circulating. Just this morning, it was announced that they tried to get the pumps to work to circulate the water. It failed. It did. Recent estimates are that perhaps 30 to 50 years to clean up that nuclear disaster. Yeah, we can't forget over there either, as we are concerned here at home, too. Dr. Kaku, thank you. Always mm -hmm. good to see you. Right. Appreciate it.